Well, somebody has to arrange the electrons. What we need is a dating site so compounds can find each other. And let's not forget about the reactions. Oh, I just knock open matches are sterically motivated and thermodynamically favored. Chem tender, chem tender, make me a bond. Find the electron, hope they respond. Chem tender, chem tender, look through your app and swipe me a perfect match. Chem tender, chem tender, help this weak HBR. Bring me a substrate, tertiary up to par. A strong living room for I'm longing to be the best S in one to ever be. Let's see what's on Kim Tender today. Oh, she's a secondary carbon. That doesn't really determine if I will have my reaction or not. I see that she has a hydroxide leaving group, which is not good. Rejected. Back on Kim Tender again. Oh, I see that you're a primary carbon. Can't really do that. I do like the leaving group, but since you're primary, I have to reject you. Sorry. We are again back on Tinder and Lonely Days. Um, well, look here. It's a tertiary substrate with an excellent leaving group. I think I really like this. Gonna accept. Oh, wow. Look at this reaction that was formed through Kim Tinder. We have our beautiful substrate here that's tertiary and has a wonderful leaving group. And you can see that this leaving group process leads to a nucleophilic attack from the HBR informs my beautiful child from Tinder <laughs> to this reaction. For S and two, no tertiary will do. For sterics, their electrons repulse leaving group. Well, it doesn't matter. Strong nucleophile solves everything. Another day, another molecule. Let's see what Tinder has for me today. Oh man, look at this. Well, the bromine is an excellent leaving group, but uh, it's tertiary. All that steric interference, there's no way I could get in there. Oof, no. Rejected. Okay, let's see what we got this time. Oh man, look at this solvent. Well, I, I don't know, I mean, in order to proceed with an SN2 reaction, you do really need a polar aprotic, and water is polar protic. Rejected. Man, dating's the pits. Oh, oh, look at this. Wow. Secondary, not ideal, but with that awesome leaving group, and oh my gosh. A polar aprotic solvent, acetone. I can totally do this. Accepted. In this SN2 reaction, the bromide leaving group leaves at the same moment the cyanide nucleophile attacks. As the cyanide nucleophile attacks the carbon steric center, replacing the bromide, the entire configuration of the molecule is switched. Not ozone. One. Not ozone. Where's Ruby? One. Not ozone. Not. It's ozone! Right. Sunlight interacts with the Krieg intermediate and initiates the cleavage of hydrogen from the molecule. The detached hydrogen bonds to the oxygen on the opposite end of the molecule. This new bonded pair breaks off of the molecule in the form of a hydroxide radical. This radical attacks ozone in the atmosphere and forms H2O and O2. Sunlight starts the reaction of Let's lose no compounds of electrons. Our pen will be chaotic if that will pull apart anything. Well, hey guys, I'm a hydronium ion. Just looking for methane so I can be environmentally conscious. Bromic acid? I don't think so. Ozone? No, not the one I'm looking for. 
Cyanide, not that one either. Oh, it's methane. That's the one I've been looking for. Okay. The hydronium ion bond with one of the hydrogens from the methane. This leads to the formation of water and the propagation of a methyl radical.